Hi everyone, it's Roast Clan, and yes, I have built the Turbo Raging Bolt deck that really, really does work, and I mean it's consistent. So Raging Bolt is the new Temporal Forces ancient basic Pokemon with 240 HP, and it has an attack that does a 70 damage for each energy you discard from any of your Pokemon, and it is disgusting. You do five of these, and it knocks out anything. Five energies it's gone uh four energies of v star is gone uh and pretty much anything else is gone so we are combining this with sandy shocks which is a it's starting to become one of my favorites magnetic absorption which allows you to accelerate energy from the discard part onto these and that's each if you have three of these on the bench it can do it three times so you've got three sandy shocks with three energies uh, with one on each that means then you've, if you've got a lightning and a fighting on your uh raging bolt you can attack consistently every single turn now this card can also hit iron hand and arceus full weakness it does 200 damage as well which is really good but the only problem is your opponent has to take two prizes as soon as they take that two prizes you're you're literally they've set the match the fuse is gone and you're literally going to nuke them out so we are also using Fluttermane. Fluttermane, if you get it in your hands, start in it and put it in the active, it will shut down your opponent's Pokemon in the active, which is really good. So I do use it for that. Um, I also use one Crydon, um, just because it's a, a big beat stick. It's a single prize. It can have 200 HP with an HP Booster Capsule, and it can do up to 180 damage, all right, for two energies, which is really easy to do. Going second, awesome. We've got Greninja, of course, draw power, Skulk Billy, just to do the, you know, mill your deck out, first turn, bomb, done. Now, you're probably worrying, what happens if they got up the Skulk Billy? We are using Penny. I am chose to use Penny because if you use Clap Stadium and we use Pokestop, aren't I we're going to lose that Clap Stadium with the Pokestop? But if we lose the Penny, we could just Pal Pad it back in. And we are using two power pads, which really does work in this deck because we can recycle our Sardas and our bosses and our pennies. So we've got constant energy acceleration and draw power. We've got Poke Gears, we've got Prime Catcher, which is awesome, um, Super Rod, Heavy Ball, all sorts of stuff. And we are nuking everything. This deck is stupid strong. Don't forget all them funny buttons. Enjoy the next parts of the video because I really did. And I'll see you in the next part. See you. Right. So, Raging Bolt. Uh, yeah, I'll put more down. Why not? So, I wanted to start with the Flutter Main. Just so it can shut down whatever is going to be in the active. Um, we'll see what we can get here. I mean, I could have started with Raging Bolt, actually, to be fair. Then I could actually do its first attack, which allows me to discard my hand and draw six, which is cool. But I would have liked a Squawker Billy here as well. So let's see what we get, because don't forget, this deck is all about nuking everything but don't forget we've also got other attackers as well now the reason i put in two croydons is one it's a decent attacker two it gets around mini q and three it's awesome and it's a single prize so it's always good to have something to beat with if you don't want to keep throwing away energies when you're using your big attacker so this is the big attacker, these are the little ones, and this is the one that shuts everything down. So, double turbo. Right. If there's a double turbo, there's an Arceus. There's the retreat. Right. Uh, no. Let's do this and this. And I want... I'm going to have to get that power... I'm going to have to power pad back that... Um, uh, 
Let's do it in Sada. Let's get some energy onto this. Let's power pad and a switch. And if I do power pad gear, I won't be able to do anything else. So I am going to switch quite into this. Then I'm going to do Squawking Seas. And we've got Sandy Shocks. Awesome. And I've got an Earthly Vessel and a Vacuum. I'm not going to need the Vacuum, but I'm going to need the Energy. That'll be fine. Okay. Let's do Tracky Shoes. Yes, I want that. And uh, let's do a Broken Gear and get nothing. Typical. Uh, then I'm going to do a poke stop. Right, I lost the ancient booster. There's a ninja. Okay, so we have got the fighting energy here. We can attack. Um, we can do 150 and start doing some damage here. Right, so we've already started attacking got an ultra ball here uh, I could put electric energy onto this raging bolt getting it ready as soon as we go down to two prizes we lose as soon as your opponents take two prizes sandy shocks will be active and its magnetic absorption will start putting energies onto itself and which we can use to power up our raging bolt now they're going for the squawk Interesting, and they had the Babel, the hand. Can't fault them for that. Arcus Babel, not a bad shout to be fair. All right, so they're going to take their time for a second. So I have just lost two Asadas and a penny, but I've got plenty of power pads to get that back. The Flutter Main we can shut down a Charizard if we need to. So if we have it in the active and they don't get a Charizard this turn, or an Arceus V-Star, they're buggered. Now I have got a Switch Cart, so I can go straight into a Switch Cart. And I think it's going to be a Charizard straight away. Okay, so they've done a boss. We've got to do the squawk, which is the easy target. As soon as they knock this out, we can start celebrating energies. If we had energies in the discard pile anyway. So let's see. And there's a star birth. There we go. And that'll be a Charizard rare candy, probably. I've got to give a ninja as well. So I can do some energy acceleration as well. well some concealed cards, technically. Uh, got two pickaxes. It's actually got quite a good card. It's actually like an extender of Trekkie Shoes. But even if it's not an energy, um, it still means that we can actually still draw an extra card. And we don't lose it to the Pokestop. Infernal Rain. Is Arceus Babao Charizard the way to go? It does give you the extra bit, doesn't it? 210. Okay. Right. Let's see what we get here. An energy. That's great. Let's do a conceal cards. Let's get rid of the fighting. There's a gutsy pickaxe. Let's do a gutsy pickaxe. Another gutsy pickaxe. Ah, that's nice. Alright, so we've got electric hair. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, we've got the Sada there. Let's do a Pokestop. Nest ball. 
We just lost a Raging Bolt as well, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so we need to need to find a Super Rod, not Super Rod, Power Pad. Um, the Pokemon I'm not too fussed about. I've got the energy in there, so we can actually generate that onto you, and then we can start poking this. Right. Now you can knock this out, but that means then my Corridor, uh, my Corridor can sh charge up my Sandy Sharks, which is really good. So, that's one, two, three, four. No engine, no discard pile. We've used up three Gutsy Pickaxe, one Trekkie Shoes. We've still got some stuff here. They need to put more Charmanders down. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they can put Bowel for two if they're not using anything else so let's see what they're gonna do ah this is a really good challenge here because Arcus Bowl with Charizard is actually a really great combo um to be honest I mean you play one of Arcus which is a little bit risky if you prized it because then you can't use it but if you've got a double turbo, which he has got rid of a double turbo, which is interesting. He's going to go after either the app capsule or the Pokestop. How many capsules have I got left? That's my last one. That's unfortunate. Incisors. How many, what are they running here? All right. That's interesting. What are you going to do next? You're going to take this out. I know that. Right. Energy there. Iona. All right. Another Raging Boot and a Power Pad. It's really good. And Darkness. Hmm. Hmm. Get them two back in. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Uh, we're going to get an immigration bolt. And we're going to do an Asada. I'm going to charge you up. I'm going to charge you up. Nice. Okay. So we've lost the Raging Bolt. And that. That's fine. We've got another energy to attach. We've got nothing else in the discard. Which doesn't work for us. Because we want it to be accelerated by Sandy Sharks. Okay. So... Uh, let's do Pokestop. Alright. So that's two Asadas in there. Uh, let's see. Heavy Ball, what's in the prizes? Another Sandy Shops, which is good. And my Prime Catcher and my Electric Energies in there. That's really annoying. But we can deal with that. Right, we're going to energy so right onto this. Then I am going to actually attach to that so we can knock out the Arceus next turn. Um, do I need to ride anything back? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. I've got a boss. I've got, I've got pretty much everything I need here. Uh, so we can go, which we need, um, three, I think it is, 140, it has to be three, yeah. So, we'll take one of this, this, and this. And that's enough to knock that out. Right. 
Prime Catcher and Electric. Awesome. So I can attach the Electric, use the Sada. Maybe I should just took it off this Raging Bolt because they're probably going to get a Charizard next turn. So I probably should have kept that fighting there. Took off the Electric here. And go from there. Oh, that's a bad one. That's all my good stuff at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And I can get another Sada down. Pound pad that back in. He's got double the barrel at the minute. Right. He's got to find Charizard in second. He's definitely got the energy and he's definitely got the Charizard. The only problem is I lost all them capsules, which does really help. Wait, how many capsules are in there? Two. I've still got one somewhere in the deck. Okay. Right, okay. So he's super rided some stuff in. Again, Ultra Ball. Then I'll do another battle, try and find the rare candy. If he doesn't find the rare candy, I'll be very surprised. Oh, that was a bad poke stop for them. They must really need the candy and he haven't got it. Interesting. Evolution. Okay. So we're going to evolve the Charmander into a Charmeleon. So we've got a Charizard next turn. Okay. Right. Okay, so that's a Charmeleon. That's definitely a Charizard next turn. Uh, what have I got in here at the minute? Two Asadas and a Penny. So we're going to go Pal Pad. These back in. The Pal Pad with the Asada is really, really good. Right, there's the Sandy Sharks. Right, let's see what we get here. That was the Sandy Shocks and a cookie pickaxe. An Ultra Ball, that doesn't help me at all. Um, uh, let's see. Done that, done that, done that. Right, well, have I got, have I got an electric in there? I haven't. I need it electric in there. It's going to have to be electric. There's an electric. That's awesome. Right, all I need to do now is find a boss or my prime catcher, and I am good. Right. There's a boss, and it's going to be the Sandy Sharks. Okay. I was going to use the Sandy Sharks to knock out the Arceus, but if they take this out, then I have the Raging Bolt. Right. I don't think you really need the maximum belt, but okay. <clears throat> You've done a boss. I just need to find my prime catcher, which I've probably got with the Pokestop. I've got four energies in there. I know I've got some super rods, so it's fine. I can find stuff out. How many? Um, I've still got one Trekkie Shoes, another Earthly Vessel. I think I've got one more Poke Gear. Right. It's all or nothing now. All or nothing. Can I do it? Ooh. Right. 
Okay, so let's see what's this in the deck. Four Sardas and that uh, and energy. The Arjar I'm going to find on the Sarda. So I'm going to have to do Greninja. There's the Asada. Let's get the uh, U down. And you then do a nest ball get the sandy shocks okay then do an asada so i need a lightning and a f fighting I've still got an attachment for turn as well. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. And I'm nice. I could have done the Charizard probably, but I'm going to do the Sandy Sharks just because. And bomb. This deck is disgusting. It is disgusting. Even against Charizard, Babao Arceus. And he had a fantastic setup as well and perfect hand and i still won which is crazy but right, i'll go to another match and i'll see you in the next part see you there right so sandy shocks i started with against an arceus which is not very good for them um and i have got some nest balls and i've got some other stuff as well so we can go for this and go that uh, no and that then we can go for well, I've got a Squawk, and I've got my hands, a boss, and a... Right, so we're going to go for you. Uh, that's a Squawk. Um, I want a Greninja, but I think I need to have... A Raging Bolt, maybe? Raging Bolt. Um, I'm going to do a... Oh, that helps. Uh, let's see. So I want to attach the lightning, yeah? Then I can go Greninja. Then go Trekkie Shoes. Uh, do I want the Flutterman? It would help turn off their abilities but no another tricky shoes yes then do that's another flutter main uh do we want the flutter main i want the sandy sharks raging bolts and a cried on really uh, yeah, go on in. And then we'll just do Squawk and Seas. Got another Sandy Shucks there. Uh, what should we get in there for energies? All right. Uh, four energies in there. All right, we can't do an Asada. We haven't found an Asada, so I was looking. Don't be wrong, I forced that. I forced that, but I still couldn't find it. It's fine. Shh. If only I had the Flutterman in the active, he couldn't use his star birth. He can attack now. He got... Ah, Iron Hands as well. Interesting. Because that's a nice... Oh, my Prime Catch is at the bottom of the deck now. That's really annoying. Oh, I've got some extra stuff. That's fine. I don't mind that. He hasn't done a star birth, so we could probably get um, maximum belt here. Uh, if he knocks out my sandy shots, which is, I mean, I like sandy shots. I think sandy shots is awesome. But if they knock it out, it actually does benefit me because then I can do raging bolts. Um, magnetic absorption so I can add an extra energy to my mag uh, Sandy Sharks 
<clears throat> and then I can actually just nuke everything. But we will see. Uh, the Raging Bolt is key here. And so is the Sandy Shocks. Uh, the Sandy Shocks, I probably will have to recycle because I need them back. Um, I've got plenty of energy from the Asada. Um, let's see. So he's going to start birth for something. I think it's going to be a maximum belt. And what else? What else would he want? I would say Armour Rouge, just so you can do the fire off. With the Iron Hand, I think that's a really good combo. Um, you're definitely going to need the Earthly Vessels in the deck. Gouging Fire. Right. Okay, so you're going to attach to you, which means my Sandy Shock is going to almost knock you out. You're going to accelerate the NGs to the Arceus, which I really like. As you know, I'm an Arceus fan, but I'm starting to become a Raging Bolt Sandy Shocks fan at the minute. The way this deck's going, I'm just like, what? Right, can I? Oh, don't break on me, game. Oh, come on. There we go. The game is glitching like anything, though, which is really annoying. And they didn't knock out my Sandy Shocks, which is a little bit annoying, to be honest, because I really wanted that. But it's fine. I'm not going to do the Power Pad yet. Let's have a look. Oh, I'll take the Asada. Um, wait. Uh, if I attach that, 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 that. I right, need a fight in there, and I want to fight in there. And I've got you. Uh, let's do an electric. That's a penny. And I've got another poke gear and that. So let's have a look. I think. Time catcher was there. Okay. So let's do this. Uh let's see if we can find a gutsy pickaxe. Oh, that's nice. Alright, and I've got three energies in there as well. Uh one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, that's a shame. Even if I find a gutsy pickaxe, I won't be able to use it. No. Switch cards. That actually works. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's do a switch card into this. And then we're going to put an energy onto you. How many energies have we got and a Pokemon? Flutamane and the three energies. That's fine. Uh, I've got one Asada, one that. I've got Super Ryan, I've got that, and I've got that. Alright, so we can do 280 and just nuke everything. Let's just take two fives straight away. I'm 300 HP at the minute, so even if. They get a gouging fire on me and do a fire uh, blaze blitz. It's still not going to be enough to knock me out. And I can just do a Sada electric fighting, mainly attach. Do two. Oh, wait, I can't do the Sandy Shocks yet. Uh, I could always. Ah, oh, I could do that. Mm, I probably would need to probably penny up the squawk. That's why I put penny in there. It's either to pick up the squawk or do something else. Um, so let's see. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Armour Rouge going to accelerate onto the iron. Ah, Delphox and the Eerie. The Eerie would have been devastating here because they would have got rid of two power pads. But, Okay. Alright. 
seven energies. I do need to put super rod some of them back in, to be honest. Actually, I will do that. Actually. All right, there's a the nest board. It's got rid of a jet, which is probably annoying for them. I think they're looking for a lightning energy so they can actually use Ampy very much. It'll only do 120, though. But it will put them in the line of sight of Blaze Blitz, which is 260, which is a ridiculous amount. There's a Charizard. Oh! That'll work. You still need to put on an extra one. There you go. This is why Armourouge's Fire Off is so good. It is so good. And I'm liking this deck mixture of Ancient and Future here. Um, I have to say, it's, I, I am liking it. I am going to put some fighting energy back in. Um, okay. And then I am going to see a Gutsy Pickaxe. Oh, nice. Uh, I am going to accelerate it. On to... Wait, if I knock that out, they can knock it out with... Let's inspect the board. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so we can go for here. Fresh Sandy Sharks. Then I can go Sada. And go... Fighting and electric. Then I can power pad two Sardis back in. Oh, I ain't got my. Um, I've got Prime Catcher, it's fine. Uh, let's see. If I take that out, then that will give me that. Let's see what we got here. A skate rope. Okay. So I'm kind of glad I actually did that with the power pad. Um, I am going to go for a green ninja and see what I pull here. Another raging bolt, which is great. So I'm going to attach it to this. Then I'm going to prime catcher the... If I do the Arceus, yeah, he hasn't taken a single prize yet, so, right, and I've got my extra Asada here, then I can go focus up, that was a lightning energy, and my on. Okay. Let's just knock this out. Right? Okay. This deck is so aggressive. And I literally just cut this up. It's crazy. I just cooked it up. I played against a few people and I was like, oh, I like a bit of that and I like a bit of that. And I saw some that were deck lists that have done really well in tournaments. I think one got top, came second. Um... But he wasn't using Gutsy Pickaxe. It wasn't using as many uh, Trekkie Shoes. It was using Energy Switch, which is fine. But if you use Trekkie Shoes you got and Gutsy Pickaxe, and you recycle your energy back into the deck, the odds are you're going to find that energy. Um, because you shuffle the deck, and so you've got more chance of finding energy, and it's a free attach. Uh, another, see, so yeah, another a draw. Even if I don't get an energy off it, it still means I can accelerate energy. And I've got Pokestop. Right. And the thing is, when I knock out this uh, Charizard, they have no energy left, by the way. I probably do need to because I could use Mew's attack to copy um, Raging Bolt. And I've got a lot of damage here. 
Um, let's see. I have got more than enough energy. I have all four of Sardas in here. That Prime Catcher was clutched there. I'm going to power pad probably another Sardar and a boss. Get that back. Right. Okay. So... See, I could put the flop main in and then stop him from doing anything. I think I will. That shuts that down. They can't attack then. Right, okay. So we're going to do... That got me nothing. All right. So we're going to get this. Uh, and we're going to do an Asada. And we're going to go for a, a Lightning. And... Fighting. And I've still got energy to spare. I could do Greninja. I haven't done his ability yet. Okay. And I've actually got a free retreat here. Uh, and I will actually. Then I am going to put another booster on you. Then I'm going to poke you stop. That's fine. I've got an aside of the hand. Uh, I'm going to power pad the, the boss and the side back. Uh, I've got an ultra ball and everything else. So it's fine. Take that out. And that's merged of all their energy's gone now. I know it's got me... I wanted the double prize there, but I'm not going to find it otherwise. Now, they can... Where they're going to get the energy and where they're going to attach. How are they going to attack? How are they going to attack me right now? This is the situation they're in. And this is the situation where I wanted to knock out the one with the most energies. Because they haven't got any Arcties to celebrate energies onto itself, onto another V Pokemon. And they haven't got Magna Basin. They're probably not using the Sada. There's a maximum belt. What are you trying? Are you trying to thin out your hands, maybe? I oh, don't know. But I am just... This is like my second match in a row. And this deck... It's, it's just... It just works. It's, it's crazy how it works. I mean... I just, I don't, it's just, it's literally blowing my mind. Just Raging Bolt, Sandy Shucks, with the Flutter Mains to shut down the actives, and with the Poker Stop and using a penny or whatever I want to pick up whatever's injured is fantastic. I mean, I can always pick up this Squawk when I needed to with a, with a penny. Um, I was thinking about doing a Clap Stadium, but the thing is, if I... Poker stop that away. I can't get it back, but a penny with my power pads I've got in the deck, I can. And they're going for the Greninja here, which is very interesting. Are they trying to stall me out? Probably, but I don't think they realize I've got an actual uh, switch card in hand. So, and this Mew is safe from my Sandy Shocks at the minute. Because I can't kill it. I'll be doing two, 170 because it takes 30 resistance from fighting. Which is really annoying, actually, to be fair. Uh, and I'm weak to Grat. So I'm not weak to Sandy Shocks, which is fine. Oh. Wow. In that case, let's go for this. And... This. Oh, there's a penny as well. And I've got a switch cart and a green ninja. Okay, okay. So we can do magnet absorption as well, which is awesome. Then we can go switch cart into this raging bolt. And then we can charge up this raging bolt here. I don't really want to do anything else. And they've conceded because they knew 
the writing was on the wall and Raging Bolt was going to literally obliterate. So I'll go to another match and I'll see you then. Right, so let's see how we get on here. Uh, we have got the third, this is the third match, right? We've won two matches in a row. Now they actually lasted, they actually took quite a while to win. Even though we were attacking, um, the opponent was just like, how are we going to beat this? And I think both the videos are around 18 to 19 minutes each. So I've done the two. I've won both. This is the third match. If I win this, it's third match in a row. And this is, I only just literally cut this up as well. Well, what I wanted to put in there and everything else. And... It's just working. I haven't really had to change anything. I think the only thing I, I, I cut, uh, I had two Coridons and I cut it down to one and I have them three Sandy Shucks. Um, but I don't know. I think the Sandy Shucks can accelerate itself when they've taken the prize. So with Sandy Shucks, it's an easy attack at for doing 200 because with its ability, after they've taken two prizes, you can attach. Use Sandy Sharks, then do an Asada to it, and you've got a, a literally another attacker. And it's crazy, it really does work. Um, I'm seriously thinking about this deck now. Yeah. Okay, I think the only thing I'm scared of is the uh, headquarters, but pokemon headquarters but the thing is we do use pokestops and we have got vacuums so it's not really a problem um okay so let's see what's in the prizes first so we've got poke gear powered and if i to, and my penny my penny's in there that's really annoying all right okay so we're going to do got two pickaxe oh that's good let's get rid of this and yeah that'll be fine then i can get uh let's get a green ninja on the go i've got my squawk actually hmm i could have text the lightning i would lose a power pad though hmm Let's just go for town. Just, just, just go for it. Okay. Let's do squawk. Get the Greninja anyway, which is cool. Then I will use another Sandy Shocks here, so we have double Sandy Shocks. Uh. Ancient booster. I'm going to boss up because I'm just going to discard my hand anyway. So I might as well use it up and then recycle later. So I'm going to discard. Go for it. Okay. That's good. Okay. I may not have been able to attack this turn. I mean, maybe if I've got the cried on going, maybe. Um, but I'd only be doing 120. Is it? 30 for each in play. So one, two three four which is 120 yeah it can do 180 but we definitely we do use squawk and we do use raiding greninja um we've got three energies in the discard so that's perfect for um asado and that and we have got gutsy pickaxe we've got plenty of en energy we've got an extra draw um so yeah we've got earthly vessels so we are, i'm gonna go for the gutsy pickaxe there's the asado as well Wow, that was just yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna get uh, that. Uh, then I am going to I'm doing one twenty now at the minute. <laughs> Could prime catch up that no. Uh let's 
Ja. Hmm. Yeah. I want that. And I want this. And then I'm going to put the energy there. Uh, I have one NG and a Sardo and a boss. So let's do an extra draw here. An extra booster. Which actually will help my Crydon live a little bit longer, maybe. Not too sure. What should I just use? I used. Okay, catch it on the switch. Um, um, oh. No. I can do it with another Sandy Shucks. What else have I got here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm doing 120. I want this Drift Loon gone. Okay, so we've got a prize here. Is it a penny? No, I wanted the penny. But I could take the Poke Gear though, because that'll get me another Asada. I know I've got one in the prizes. Um. And a finger pal pad as well. So that's, I'm going to have to be wary of that. Okay. And don't forget, all these psychic Pokemon take less damage because of Sandy Shucks is a fighting type. Now, even Screamtail with a Bravery Charm can't, uh, Screamtail can't knock this out without something. Now, they need to find. I wonder what they're going to find. Maybe Evolution? Team Evolution could get them there. I did use up my Prime Catcher though, but I didn't want to. But I wanted to get stuff out of the active. And I wanted to target that Drifloom. That Drifloom with a uh, Bravery Charm can actually hit 300 damage. But they need to have the enough energy in there to pull it on. There's the Drifloom. Look, so they're putting the Drifloom and the Screamtail back into the deck. For that exact reason. Now this deck, uh, Carnivore, it it may have lost Carnivore, Shiny Arcana, and Refi um, Mirage Step, but it's still very, very strong. Still very strong. The Drift Looms are really strong. They could just one shot almost everything with but just attaching a bravery charm. Scream Tower could do the same as well. And they're just single prizes, but they just have, all they have to do is attach bravery charms or capes or uh, heroes cape, and that's it. It's done. So that's another curly up, which is interesting. So they're really digging out for well, why? What the? Why did you throw away the buddy buff? And that could have got you the uh, drift loom, instant drift loom. It wouldn't have got you an assault. It wouldn't have got you the scream tail, but it would have got you a drift loom. Didn't you want the drift lane? And even Garnivore can't knock out this Crydon. So this Crydon's 200 HP single type, single type Pokemon, which is nutty, really. Um, but as soon as they they are a comeback deck, and we are just a continuous deck. I think this that's probably the best word for it. Raging Bolt is. Con continuous it has a function it is to either draw or kill or destroy right sunny shocks is there to absorb energy uh, like energy is fighting energy and attack as well and be used to celebrate energy right green is there for drawing Corridon's there for attacking and so forth and so forth so that's it. We've got two energies in there. We will draw a little bit because I don't know if I will find Asada. There it is. Nice. Okay, so we have got the Asada now, which is cool, which I really like. Um, I would like a penny though, but it's, I know it's prized. I'll keep the Poke Gear. I'm not doing another one. Let's thin out the deck a little bit more before I do that. So we're going to go for you and you okay. Flutterman and a Pokestop a Pokestop might actually help them more and I ain't got to lie my deck either um 
to a perfect line. So if I start doing a poker, what else could I find that could really help here? I don't think there is much at the minute. So I am going to just attach from here and just keep attacking. I'm just going to keep chugging along. I've got quite a lot of Pokemon here that are pretty much ready to attack. That isn't really useful unless I want to bring something back and nest ball it. But I've got pretty much everything in my hands. They're going to eye on me. I know it's going to happen. That's why I didn't want to use this Poke Gear in case I needed it. Um, yeah, I am playing free. Um, and I think I'm playing about three Pell Pads, which is really good. So let's see. And I think this is going to be another long one again. It's 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 one. It's not like we're not doing anything. I'm actually attacking every turn, pretty much. I think it was only no, even when I on our and second, I still did on my uh, first turn. I did do a burst roar, which gave me them cards. So I have attacked. every turn but because they're single prizes this match is not over yeah i have attacked every turn so far so there's the carnival and even the carnival can't knock out my croydon at the minute and how many energies have they got they haven't got too many energies to be fair they've got enough to do a scream tell right have they got any ain't have they got any um attachments tools let's see that's two more they've got one more they can attach without using anything else they've got the drift loom which can be searched out by buddy buddy puffin which is really good actually to prefer and all you have to do is find an attachment of bravery charm and you can do 300 damage as long as you've got the energy I think it's, I can't remember if it's 8 or 10. I think it's 100. So you have to put in 5, 5 energies onto the Drift Loom to knock out anything. Now, they've got the 160. They can go for the Squawk. And as soon as they do that, it's over. Because all I have to do is keep accelerating energies. And I am going to be knocking out um, this Carnival next turn. If I can. Right. So there's an Arvin. So you probably will be playing about four Arvin in this deck. In this Garnival deck. Just so you can find the attachments as well. Now you've got one more energy. And you're only doing 160 at the minute. Um, but I need to gust this up. Roaring Scream. And it's going to be the Squawk. There's the Squawk. It's gone. Right. So that's two prizes for them. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, I need to find a Pal Pad first. How many energies have got? One. Let's do a draw first. Brick shoes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, two energies there. Let's do another pickaxe. Boost the capsule, which is great. Um, let's take that. I'll put it on there. I don't want to lose this sandy shock. It's got loads of energies on it. Um, if I do an Asada now. I'm going to deck out. 
So. I think I'm just going to energy absorption here. And then I'm just going to do a Corridon. And I'm doing 150 anyway. Well, bad. That's what I wanted. So I want to get a boss and an Asada back. Right. And there's the Drift Loom. They've still got the Curlia to draw refinement. And they've got Greninja as well. So next to next NG, that's six now. So they've got enough to power up Drift Loom to one shot, even a Raging Bolt, which is scary. Um, but all I need to do is attach a lightning to this one and I can attack with this one. But I just need to nuke. I need to take out this Drift Loom and then I need to take out the Garn Horde. Then it'll win me the match. They'll go to three if they kill this Corridor. There's the Bravery Charm, which allows it to be able to be used. Now they've got, they've put that, I think they're trying to thin out the deck. I mean, I'm almost empty. I told you, this deck is turbo. We are turbo. We are chunky for our deck and we are, if these were all double pri two prizes, we would have won by now. Easily. Because I all I had to do is swap out the Corridor and I've got two switches and just keep knocking out Pokemon. And this is what it does and it's just aggression and I love it. Surprisingly, they haven't eye owned me, which is very surprising. I mean, if they did, it would actually help me out because I've got near to nothing in my deck. Then I could do Power Pad Poke Gear. <laughs> if I keep this hand, I might be able to do something here, but I'm not too sure. Okay. Counter catcher. And it's going to be that one. Okay. So we're going to lose this raging bolt. That's fine. It actually isn't because I need to, then I have to, have to use an Asada. So I'm going to have to attack the Corridon to kill this. Then use Boss and a Pal Pad next turn. Heroes Cape. Boom. Okay, have you got something else to attack with? Right, so that's 300 damage they're doing with a Drift Loom, which is nutty, by the way. You can't, you can't dispute them. They, they are able to do stupid combat com mechanics here. Right. I'm not going to use the Poke Gear yet. Um, uh, let's see. What have we got energy wise? We've still got some energy here. Right. And that's all lightning. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there we go. And I've got tricky shoes and everything else. I really don't want to do anything else. I don't want to deck out. So I want to knock this out. Go to even prizes. And there's my penny as well. Now, have they got a boss? 
I haven't seen a boss, but they've used Poker Gears. So if they've got a boss, they're going to use it. But they've used the Counter Catcher, but the Counter Catcher won't be in place. They have this, they have Garnival up front, which I would have thought they would have put the Vaults up. Um, unless you're going to put a Hero's Cape on it. But even so. <laughs> oh, bugger. It's a Scream Tail. Have they got a boss? They got a boss, didn't they? They got boss. Oh no. Alright. We know where we're weak. We know where we struggle by. Yeah, I should have really just killed that. But if I'd killed this, alright. So next last turn, if I'd killed that, this Drew Flume would have had enough to knock out my raging bolt anyway. So no matter what would have happened, I think he probably would have won. This person would have won, no matter what. Because so where was it? So this Drew Flume, yeah, did three hundred damage to my raging bolt. Right? That put him to two prizes left. He had four. He, put, he had four prizes left. He KO'd my Norwegian Bolt, which puts him to two. Now, if he just KO'd, KO'd my Coridon, then I could have done something, but I couldn't. And he's just won. But I am showing you where it's good and where it's going to struggle, and it's going to struggle here. So don't forget to hit all them funny buttons. Don't forget to enjoy yourself, and I'll see you on the next video.